So today in the world, what are we seeing? I mean, I remember when the biggest current or amperage draw in your home was the stove, a 40 amp breaker. Then we started introducing hot tubs up to a 50, 60 amp break breaker, right? Now we have electric cars. And what do we have up to when it comes amperage? Could be 90, 100 amp breaker for that electric car. Right. It's a very low percentage of people out there that are getting a permit for their electric car. That's against the rules, it's against the laws here when it comes to electrical work in your home. Why this is so important is that is so much power. You hear the hum behind me? That hum is electricity. What the hum you're hearing is the transformer behind us. And that is actually picking up the power, giving more power to the building because the building needs a lot of electricity. Transforms power. When you hear that hum, that's a lot of power. You're not going to hear an 80 amp breaker to a 100 amp breaker humming, but that much power can do an awful lot of damage to your home and your family. It can burn the house down. You can be, if you ever touch that amount of power, you're not, you know, you've, we've all touched electricals, we've all had those little shocks, oh, don't do that again, but you don't want to be touching anything that is that high. You have an electric car? Hire a licensed electrical contractor, confirm they work or their numbers on the ESA website. Then you know you're dealing with someone that's done everything right. They have all, they have all their tickets, they have all of their WSIB, the insurance, they have everything necessary to come into your home, correct? That's right, Mike. We always say there's no such thing as a safe shock, right? Every shock is a dangerous shock. So you want to avoid them at all costs. That's well said. And those are the important things when you're looking at your home is is there safety features I can put in here that would make it safer, not just the minimum?